Okay, here we go. We're gonna thickness the top, back, and sides. We already kind of went through a little bit. Uh, we're gonna talk story. It's gonna get boring. I'm just gonna show you what we do on the thickness sander, and then like the other videos, we'll come back at the end, talk story. If you guys got comments, questions, by all means, post it at the bottom. You wanna subscribe, go ahead and do that. Um, let's talk about the uh, thickness sander real quick. The instructions on the 1632, um, says to, for every time you lower this a quarter turn, it goes down about a 64th of an inch, um, you're supposed to pass the piece through four times in a cross hatch pattern. Meaning you'll send it through one time um, in one direction, send it through a same thickness in another, in an X direction, turn it over to the back side, send it through and then cross hatch it on the other side. So you'll send it through four times at the same thickness. I don't do that. I've changed what I've done on this and I actually go an eighth of a turn each time I go down and I'll do just one side cross hatch. So when you see, a, when you, when you see me go through the thicknessing process, I'm gonna send it through at an angle, send it through at the opposite angle. I'm gonna do the three pieces, the two tops and the size, the size I'm going to do at one time, and then we're going to drop it down an eighth of a turn, and then do the opposite side. On the last time we go through, or the last couple times we go through, we're going to send it through straight to follow the grain of the wood. It's just something that I've, um, and I found it works for me over the years. Everybody does it differently. That's just what I do on this one. What we're going to do now is we're going to go over to, um, we're going to go over to the other bench. We'll bring you over there, and uh, let's go see our pieces that we're gonna thickness sand right now. Okay, so here we are. These are the pieces. Now, first off, what I did was, I actually cut out the piece. I don't thickness sand it whole, I thickness sand it after it's all already cut out. And if you notice what I did with this, it's just the outside mold putting it on the piece, and then with a pencil just drawing it. Now, I actually cut it really, really close. And when I say really close, it's not actually on the line. But for a lot of guys, less than an eighth of an inch or about an eighth of an inch is close. Some guys leave a lot of room. I don't do that anymore. That's just too much stuff to go ahead and cut off. So it's not gonna be perfect, but I'll give you an example of how close we are to the edge. I don't even know if this is centered. All right, so there we go. So I just drew the line. You can see how close we are to the edge. If I get a ruler here, there you go. You can figure that out. So probably about less than an eighth of an inch to the edge. All right, yeah, I cut it really close. And there's not a whole lot to cut off after that. I mean, I'll be honest, when I first started building, I left a lot of room so that I had a lot of play, I had a lot of give just in case I made any mistakes. Well, once I got this form right here, pretty much doesn't go beyond that. So that's what we did. Oh. <clears throat> Let's just roll this out. We started this at, see this one's about a 155. Um, I said it was 140 in the other vid, now 140, but it's well over an eighth of an inch thick this way. So what I did was we ran it through the thickness sander at 80 thousandths of an inch, and we brought it down to right about 100 thousandths, okay, 101. And that's all the pieces right here. We brought it out down to about 100 thousandths, just over at 80 grit. Now, you can see some of the cross hatch pattern right there, okay, you can see the angle. So you know we're sending it through at an angle. We're not sending it through straight just yet. Now for reference, here is the milling lines right there. So that's from the saw. So obviously we've got to take out all the saw lines. These, this is actually a nice cut. This is not bad right there. Something probably I would do. So you see the cross hatch pattern in 80 grit. We're gonna to go to 120. We're gonna do the same thing. Now here's the thing. This is actually fairly thick for ukulele at about a hundred thousandths. However, for those that believe in tap, tapping their pieces, these two pieces are resonating very nicely at this thickness. I've gone too thin before. 
Um, I rarely leave them too thick, but honestly, I don't think I want to go much thinner than this. This is a um, nice quarter saw. This wood is nice straight up and down vertical grain. So this is actually going to probably be a really good instrument. There's some spalting in here that I don't particularly care for. Now, this is about a hundred thousandths of an inch. Um, I like to bend at about 90. So we're just going to basically send it through the thickness sander to get rid of the sandy scratches. 120 will do a nice job of this. And then we're still going to come back after that with the random orbit right over here and bring that down to about 220. Sometimes I'll go to 320. Depends on how I feel. But for now, um, we're going to go to the thickness sander. We're going to run it through. You're going to see how we run it through cross pattern. Now, one thing I didn't mention, what you want to identify on these pieces is which piece is going to be the inside and the outside. And normally, the closest book match is going to be outside facing pieces. So you can see this one is book matched right here on this V. You got to figure out which one was the outside of the book match and which was the inside. And this one looks like it's matching a little better. So this will probably be the inside of the book match, which will make it the outside facing piece. I still got to determine which one I want as the top or the back. See this one got a little knot over here. This might be a nice place to put the fretboard and use this as the top. We'll see what happens. But the reason I'm mentioning this is once I get these sanding grits out, I want to really thickness it from the backside or the inside because I want to maintain the face or the outer showing surfaces of this piece of wood. Same thing with this. This is the sides. You got to remember which is the book match on the inside because the book match will determine your end graph edges right there. Okay? And you want to maintain the nicest match here and sand down the other and thickness sand down the opposite side. So you can see right here, this is probably gonna be the outsides of this is the outside of the book match, right? Which is gonna be the inside of the instrument. You can see right there there's a little mismatch right there, but if I flip it over, nice graining going all the way through, it matches a little better. So this is the inside of the book match. And you'll find some pieces are hard, this one is pretty easy. Um, so as soon as the sandy marks are off of this one. I'll start thicknessing from the backside. Now remember, these are almost right at thickness anyway, so probably not going to do a whole lot of sanding or a whole lot of thicknessing. All right, we're going to move to the thickness sander. You can fast forward through at this point in time, and then we'll come back at the end, and then we'll talk story. All right.
Okay, so that's it. I'm kind of guessing where the camera is right now. Um, so you saw what we did. Now, I stopped this one because it, remember I said I like I like the size a little thicker, probably about 90 thousandths. This is a little bit thicker than 90 right now. Um, we're still gonna go with the uh, orbital sander because what I like to do is get this to a nice, almost finished surface prior to bending. That way I'm, I can sand the flat surface rather than sanding a bent surface. These two are pretty much done. You can see what the 120 does. It takes out all of the scratches and this is a, actually a nice surface right here. So when we hit it with the 220, it's going to get really nice. Now what happened is going down a quarter turn even on this and, and I put it at full speed. You guys saw that. Um, different theories. Sometimes when I run it through at full speed, it burns a little less, but you can see this one started getting burnt over here because of the heat and things like that. So dust extraction is very important. However, sometimes when I put it in too slow, it generates heat and then it burns. It's just one of those things. But what's going to happen is, remember, this is the inside of the instrument and we're going to sand all this off anyway. That's why the last one, you know, I, I tried to take off the face of the instruments, basically the top and the back, as little as possible, and then thickness from the inside to maintain as much of the book match as I can. All right, so that is it. What we're gonna do probably next video, we'll probably sand it down. I won't show you the orbital sanding. And then we'll probably brace this, and then we'll work on some bending, I guess. Um, I have a form, but we'll see if we're gonna uh, freehand bend this, because I've been doing that lately. All right, guys, you got any questions, comments, by all means, pop it on the bottom. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, see you next time.